So what does it mean when we're talking about loving in 5D? So presently we are in a fourth dimensional environment. So this is a transitional phase. And this phase is leading us up, gearing us up, preparing us and giving us so many opportunities to flourish so that as we enter the 5D energy more fully, more presently and get much more anchored in that energy, it means that we are ready in a way that we wouldn't be if we didn't have the fourth dimensional transitional phase. So the 3D energy of loving is, you know, very much about how do we get love? How do we keep love? Um, how do we feel love? Do they love us? Um, how much do we love ourselves? There's a lot of polarity going on there. Yeah. Yeah. The 5D energy, the fifth dimensional frequency that supports this amazing loving field, the heart field, which is so huge it's so expansive it's all around the planet and beyond right it's echoing beyond as well this energy is going to really show us where we're at it does show us where we're at our choices our manifestations and intentions are very clear and very apparent and very quickly aren't they caroline oh definitely and and, and as we move into the 5d energy what we'll find in our relationships is we'll both be committed or we'll all be committed to the same thing because this is not just about couples. This is about us loving ourselves, how we feel about ourselves and how we look at ourselves and where we are in life. And sometimes, you know, at the moment in the 3D, we're coming out of that sort of where we might have a couple of jagged little bits about ourselves. And I used that word before, and I really like that word, jaggly bits. And and it's it's about us then being able to step into a new place where where we're both and all of us, not just both of us, but all of us are working for a common goal. And that common common goal is about bringing love and light and that beautiful energy to the whole of the planet, to all of the humans, or all of the elementals, everybody and everything that lives on this planet. And we're going to be able to bring that beautiful energy to everyone because we'll be looking at ourselves differently, not just looking at everyone else differently, but looking at ourselves. Yeah. We are being differently, aren't we? Yeah. Expressing differently. We understand differently. When I think back, I was listening to Tim Wilde earlier um, and he said, where were you 10 years ago? Where was your vibration? How were you feeling? What were you doing? And I could see the massive difference. Yeah. I wouldn't have understood a lot of this information 10 years ago. And this transitional period is so valuable and so important. Um, and it's, it's really preparing us for so much more. So the 5D frequency is really a beautiful and empowering and powerful uh, experience it's a vibrational field that we are anchoring on this planet entering into we are anchoring the golden age energy on the planet and as tim pointed out this morning um every single one of us who are unplugging from the matrix from the old way of doing things the 3d fear-driven way of doing things as we unplug that matrix sort of gets into a panic right and the um, tools of control are applied, you know, stronger and stronger. The most important thing to remember is this is so temporary. This is so temporary. The more that we tune in to the loving heart field, the vibration of love with our words, our actions, our thoughts, our choices, yeah. this all comes back to how we experience love. And of course, it's Valentine's Day today. It is yes, Valentine's time. Day. So happy mm. Valentine's Day, everybody, for mm. whatever that means to you. Mm. You know, for some people it means really emotional times and some it might be emotional but not a happy emotional. But this 4D energy that we're in at the moment, this is the time to let go of all of those things, knowing that they can just fall away. We don't have to hang on to them. Because sometimes we've hung on to relationships and feelings about others as well as for ourselves because we're scared to let go. It's been like a little cloak around us. We've held this little cloak around us for all this time. 
But now is the time to let go of it because then we're stepping into this beautiful, beautiful energy of unconditional love for each and every person, for each and every thing. And, and you know, I just find that, that the energy that we're stepping into, it's just so glorious. And the main thing is that it's starting off in your own heart, in your heart, because you will feel so much more comfortable within your heart once you start to allow that energy to flow. And, and you know, the other thing too is that when we are in a relationship, in 5D relationship, we're both learning together. You know, we've been able to let go of all the rubbish that we've been carrying along over the years because, let's face it, as we've got to this stage, we have collected a lot of stuff. And at the time, it was very useful and, and we needed it. But now we don't need it because this new energy is coming in and we're just halfway through this 20-year cycle that started in 2012 and it's going to end in 2032 when we're all in this, this beautiful energy. And as we all work together to bring that energy in, then that's what is the important thing. It's about us all working together, but coming from a place of love, no fear, no anger, no judgment. And I know that probably some people say that that can't happen, but yes, it can. And when we all step into the love, we will be able to feel it and we will understand it more. Some of it's a bit hard to understand at the moment for all of us, but we're all learning this together. Absolutely. And the thing of it is, we it's it's not go, it's not really about we're not doing it or we are doing it. it, it for <laughs> me, it's about it, it's a it's a progression. You know, there are some days I'm so in tune, <laughs> I'm so in the heart field, and then there are other days when I'm cranky and I'm taking offense to something, and and those are the times where it's not it's no longer enough to say I shouldn't be doing this. It's, it's now about I've stepped up. Okay, so I recognise that's where I am. And it's spending just even a few moments sometimes, sometimes it's longer, to really step into the heart field. Yeah. Okay, I'm choosing to step into the heart field now, calling in all the angels and the love and the guidance and the golden grid, right? That's the conscious choice. That's the power of choice stepping into that choice and we are seeing things unfold so incredibly quickly i think something and the next thing i boom you know i'm thinking something negative and boom you know i've stubbed my toe or whatever it might be and it's making me realize real lies making it real in my world in my physical world as well as my heart world and my mental world all of these energies are coming together so when we're living in a 5D energy, and make no mistake about it, if you're watching this, you are already doing it. You are already harmonizing. You are within that frequency, whether you're staying there or not is irrelevant. That's a choice. Mm -hmm. Just like it's a choice for me. Am I in or out or somewhere in between? And all of those phases and, and energies and places are important once I use them to look and see, okay, what is this showing me and what am I going to do with it? That is so powerful. And Leanne says uh, it, letting go is so freeing. Mm -hmm. definitely and is. that's exactly what it is. It's, it's releasing the shackles because nobody put us here except us. Yep. Every choice we make is our own free will choice, right? Yep, yep. And this is it. This is the thing we need to remember that we came back into this planet, into this lifetime, having free will, having choice. And we will still have that in a 5D world. That's not going to change. But I think the important thing for us all to remember is we chose to be here at this time. And so we would come. We're the chosen ones, as I, I read somewhere the other day, because we were willing to step up and we were willing to say, yes, I can do this. 
And now is the time for us to think about, yes, I can do it. It doesn't mean we let that human side of us go because we are. We're a soul in a human body. So we have to think, we yes, we have that human side. But, you know, we chose to be here. And I'm just so excited that I chose to be here at this time. You know, and, and sorry, I've got to stop saying that. You know. um, with all the things that have happened, you know, in, in the last 12 months, is it again? In the last 12 months, it's made me realise just how blessed I am to be here. And I'm going to jolly well make the most of it. So for me, I'm really looking forward to, to 2032. I'm looking forward to stepping even more fully into the 5D um, because I know that I am there. Even if we have our little steps backwards, we, have, we can still move forward again. Okay. As Leanne said, we needed to, to let that go. And yep. letting go is, is, is it's not always easy, but once we've done it, you think, why did I worry about that so much? It was not worth worrying about. And look yeah. where I am now. I'm in stepping fully into the 5D. I think it was Nelson Mandela who said something. It was Nelson Man Man Mandela who said something along the lines of everything seems impossible until you do it. Yeah. And that really has stuck with me. And Leanne has said maybe it means not putting so many stipulations on love. I think that's powerful, a powerful mm -hmm. um, reflection because yeah. the 3D way with looking at Valentine's Day as an example is, you know, what can I get someone to prove I love them, what will they give me? So we do all these things on this particular day. It might be chocolates, cards, flowers, dinner, whatever it is. So this is very much a polarity. Today is a day out of time mm -hmm. for me to show my love or my affection. For me now, Valentine's Day has become something very different. Valentine's Day is more now for me is an opportunity to experience and express love um, every day, but because it's Valentine's Day, things like the program we're doing at the moment, Carol Ann, yeah. this is a perfect opportunity because we're thinking about love. So because we are because we are manifesting so quickly, whether we like the manifestation or not, um, it's exciting because suddenly things are being revealed quickly. Yes. Really quickly, right? Yes. So look at what is showing up in your life. It isn't there by accident. No. The feeling of, oh, this has happened to me or that happened. That's a 3D expression, right? Things don't just happen. We know this. Yeah. Look at what, oh, crikey, so I've manifested that so quickly. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but that million bucks seems to take a while to come in. <laughs> but you know what I mean. So for those of us, there's lots of us who don't have romantic partners. So what does Valentine's Day mean to you? And how can you express your love? And who are you expressing it for? Yeah. We, have, we have one partner through life, and that is ourselves. One physical partner, that is ourselves. How yeah. are you treating yourself today and every day? Yeah. Because that's, that's the mirror, right? That is, that <laughs> is it, exactly. And just stepping back a moment, it made me think of that um, saying, and I can't remember who said, I am not what happened to me, I'm what I chose to become. And to me, that is such a powerful, powerful saying because, you know, the things that we have, we might have bad experiences and we have, might have negative emotions coming up, but it's just how we deal with it. It's not, don't let ourselves get buried in that negativity. Okay, this was something that happened. What can I learn from it? Just And then just let it go because all of these things that show up in our lives are a reflection of our thoughts, as Anaya was saying. So, you know, as our thoughts create our reality, we need to think about the thoughts that we're having. And then when we have a negative thought, don't get down on yourself for having that thought because that's the little human side of it. You know, we, we're not living 24-7 
spiritual glowing. We're sitting on the clouds with the angels with our wings flapping. That's not reality. Yourself. We would not be learning anything yeah. and, that, and we wouldn't be growing if that was what happened. So all of these experiences happen for a reason. It's part of this thing on a cloud with the wings and the angels. <laughs> <laughs> it's a part of it. It's, it's kind of like the vehicle that drives us through the different experiences. And the thing of it is, it's it's as Leanne said before, it's all these stipulations to, to be living in, you know, my ideal world. Things have to look like this. I have to be like that. The fact is that everything is what we make it, right? We know that because our thought is an energy, but it's that deeper energy. When we are reflecting that energy out into the world, you go out with a smile on your face and a song in your heart. Yeah. And the simple um, energy, the simple experience of going to the supermarket, for example, or, you know, your, your local farmer to get your veggies, yeah. becomes a very different thing. Suddenly you have conversations that just seem to appear like magic. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's, you know, you'll meet someone or you'll see something that you could see any day of the week, but suddenly you notice the way the light comes through those leaves. Oh so magical so it's all down to us uh, Leanne says it is hung Leanne says by accepting what we have gone through in our lives and understanding it is what has made us who we are today well this is very true but there's also a bigger picture for me personally um, there it's the energy it's the heart field that's what makes us who we are in the sense that when we feel in alignment, when we feel empowered, right? So there's a difference in energy that I experience between what I'm thinking about and what I am feeling about. We are coming into a heart-centered energy more and more and more. This is where we are going. This is what is already occurring. And we can feel the difference. Well, I certainly can. Yeah. When I'm in it, when I'm out of it. Yes. Mm. Yes. And it, it's not one of those places that you, as you said before, about being in 24-7. But I was smiling just before because they were showing me the image that when we were children, and I, not everybody's the same, but you would go out and you would play in the mud and you would do all of these little things and it was just so exciting because you know you were experiencing the textures you were experiencing the water and the mud going through your hands and and playing and then if you're really cheeky and the boys were cheeky you know you'd have little mud fights but what I what I feel is that some of what where we are going is that childlike Everything, you loved everything. You loved the mud. You loved the water. You loved the fact that you could tread in puddles and splash the water. So to me, it's it's almost like looking at life through a child's eyes in some ways because we loved everything like that when we were children. But when we became adults, oh, my goodness, I've got to sweep the floor. There's dirt on the floor or <laughs> the rain is, is wet, wet my washing. And so, you know... I sort of like to occasionally think about going back to that childlike innocence. But what I'm getting at is this is this is how we're looking at it and how we we can interpret things so differently. As an adult, we see it as a dirty floor that needs sweeping. As a child, we were exploring a whole new world that we were so in love with and so enjoyed. That part of that is how I want to think about. Yes, love and, and this beautiful energy is amazing. It's how we look at that energy and how we grow and learn from that energy. Mm, absolutely, Carolyn. And it highlights very clearly for me that it's it's the tr it's the transitional process that we're all in. Life is a transitional process. Yep. Uh, 
that, you know, there's nothing static, even though we may feel that we're doing the same thing day in, day out. If you're feeling that way, mm. please recognize that that's a choice. Yeah. And that choice, if it doesn't resonate in your heart and, and lift you up, then that's something for you to have a think about, have a feel into. No, no, don't think about it. It's feeling into it, isn't it? It's asking your heart because our heart knows everything and our heart will never, ever steer us wrong, whereas our head, our thoughts, will mm -hmm. constantly tell us we're not doing it right, yeah. fast yeah. enough, good enough, right? Yeah. So the last thing I guess I want to touch on before we finish is what is love? To you, is love a, an emotion? Is it a feeling, a place, a person, an experience? Is love a construct? Because when we start to break love down, we are taught to love. Yes. We are taught what it means to love. And yet we, our heart energy, the heart field that I mentioned earlier, there are no parameters on that. It doesn't matter if, you know, you are experiencing from outside of you because that construct can only ever look certain ways. When we move beyond that and move within the heart field, the energy, the angel showed me once that our hearts are like a scanner. They are constantly scanning energy in every single moment and will react instantly. If something feels right and, and loving and kind and empowering, or if it doesn't, and learning how to trust that and pay attention to that has been a massive journey for me. But that's the journey we're all on because this is where unity resides, right? It resides within the heart frequency and the frequency is lifting and changing all the time. Now you've heard me mention Tim Wilde, Practical Ascension, a couple of times today. So shout out to Tim. I highly recommend his videos as I know you do, Carol Ann, on YouTube and Facebook. Um, he's a brilliant teacher for me. Yes, yes, he is. And he has a wonderful way of just discussing. It's like you know what, like we try to do here on, or we, we do do here on Angel Heart Radio, it's discussions. And, and he talks to you in a very easy to understand way. But his knowledge just blows me away sometimes. And he can explain things. And, and you know, I'm just so excited to be traveling along the same sort of journey that Tim is. And Tim works very closely with Diana Cooper, who I really love. And so, you know, and so we just need to, I need to listen to all of this because I'm wanting to absorb. I'm sort of feeling a bit lately like that sponge, you know, I'm, I'm wanting to absorb and learn because this is, this is a journey that we're all on and this is the opportunity for us to grow and learn and most importantly love ourselves and you know what I would like to share with you on Facebook the other day I saw this gorgeous little thing and it, this lady had um, shared that her three-year-old said good night to all of us tonight and then in the dark I heard her little voice say good night myself I love you it was a pause and then she said and I love you too. So the innocence and the understanding of a child about love, that's just a wonderful, wonderful example because you know, love, as, love with your children and love as a child, there's an innocence of it, you know, and, and that innocence it's going to grow within all of us as well as, as our heart expands and becomes part of this whole world energy. And I'm just really excited and looking forward to us all stepping in there together and being together. And what I've found lately when I'm out walking, you're walking and, and somebody you're passing the other way, that you say hello to them and they'll smile and say hello to you back. 
And that hasn't always happened. But I think that because my energy field is changing and that possibly their energy field is changing and the whole world's energy field is changing and I'm just thinking about diving in, like I'm going to dive into the surf <laughs> one day again soon. So, you know, just let's get in there and do it. Absolutely. And that's beautiful. And it's that's right because we are will attract automatically. Um, mm. I have the most amazing conversations with people everywhere yeah. I go. Uh, and like you, Carol Ann, it's because of the frequency I'm emitting, because I'm I'm open to these conversations. Not everybody is, and that's okay. You don't have to do things like we do, right? We have also have personalities. Um you know, astrological charts, all that influence. But we're, you know, we're actually experiencing and harmonizing a lot. Yeah. And it's that sovereignty. Very young children have the sovereignty of their being. I was telling Carol Ann earlier um, when we were talking about today's show that my eldest daughter, Erin, when she was little, we were all gathered at the table for dinner. And Erin sneezed and, you know, good parent that I am, I automatically (laughs) said, Erin, what do you say? Expecting her to say, excuse me. What do you say, Erin? And she went, bless you, me. (laughs) And I learnt learnt so much in that moment. She Mm. wasn't split. No. You know, we all get split off. That's part of the journey. The journey is to come back into wholeness, into the wholeness of the truth of our being. So I thought that was just so beautiful. And I'm so glad you you read that out, Carol Ann, because that is really gorgeous. Yes, mm-hmm. yes it is. And, yeah. and how many of us can stand and look in the mirror and say, I love you. But even not looking in the mirror, you might be doing something and and gosh, that, that's good, I love you, or yeah. instead of saying, oh, my God, I'm a silly sausage, why did I do that? If I've done yeah. something silly, okay, I still love you. And that's the problem, what's the silly anyway? You, mm. you know, what is silly? It's our learning process. Yeah. It's how we learn. And it's, you know, when I first started that that journey of look, being able to look at myself, I couldn't do it. I was so desperately not loving myself um but the thing if you're in that place guys um the thing i learned to do was i i learned to look in the mirror and say i want to love you that opened the way so this has been great caroline thank you it's been wonderful boy the time is flowing but it has it's got so fast this is it It's 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 because it's so close to our heart this conversation and as are all our conversations and and we hope yeah. to be able to share so many more with you. Absolutely. We've got a lot in store. Next week, it is the fourth week of the month, which means it's reading week. If you would like a reading, please make sure you're watching on the Angel Heart Radio Facebook page or Angel Heart Radio on YouTube. That's how we get to see your requests. Um, we'll wait and see if Carol Ann is with us next week or not, but I most certainly will be with you. Oh, I love reading week. I'm really excited. <laughs> To bring through lots of messages from your angels and your guides and your spirit team. <gasps> wow, you're so blessed. Mm. Yeah, I hope I hope to be here this week. So we'll see. You see how we're going. I um, yes. really enjoyed today, and I feel really good about it. Oh, I feel blessed to be here. Mm, wonderful, and we're blessed to to have you with us, Caroline. Again, it's great. <laughs> I'm singing in the rain. You know that happy rain feeling when the rain's soft and gentle and it's been hot and dry. You know that feeling of absolute joy around? That's how I feel. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, everyone. Thanks for being with us. Thanks, Leanne. It was lovely to chat with you in the comments throughout the live stream. Uh, Is there anything you want to say in closing, Carol Ann? Um, no, I just loved being here. It's wonderful to be to be back, even if it is only part time for the part, for the moment. But it's wonderful to be back. And um, and yeah, so you were just going to to say something at the end of the yep. show. I am and, indeed, and, and I'm going to say now, you all come back now. <laughs> <laughs> That's 
from last from the past last from the past okay everyone remember your sovereignty even if you can't feel it or you don't think you're experiencing it the fact that you're here as i've said already and i'm going to say it again tells me that you are all you've got to trust yourself you've got to trust where you are reach out reach in go within check out your heart and on that note remember everyone that you know you are not um you're not floundering you don't need us to tell you what to do you know? we like to we, we love sharing with you. <laughs> not telling you we, what to do but sharing with you sharing with you but you don't need us you don't need anybody else because you already have an amazing team and amazing connection right so that's important i want you to know that I don't want to ever build up a false sense of that you need us to flourish because you are amazing already. And all of our programs, you know, they're not designed to replace any of your professional advice. You trust your own sound judgment, okay? Uh, lots of love, everyone. My website is angellight777.com and there's heaps of really, really good stuff there for you, 24-7. 24-7 and you can find me on Facebook. That's waiting for you. It is waiting for me. So, okay, lots of love, everybody. Lots it's of love, really everyone. So, yep. Okay. Stay true to you. We love you. Love you. Bye. Love you all. Bye. <laughs>